welcome back to my channel. I'm Margie and this is Reclaimed by Ramsey. On today's episode, we are going to be trying to take things that are pretty much free, maybe things that you would throw away. Flooring samples. Um, you might not throw this away, but you probably have a mason jar. If not, they're really cheap. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. Kind of like an old bottle like this. Uh, I come across these all the time and I love to decorate with them. Even an old board from my deck. So that's what we're going to do today is make some cool Christmas crafts. So let's get started. Our very first item that we're going to do is using these wood flooring samples from Home Depot. I'm sure you can get them at other places. I just got mine at Home Depot because it's like five minutes from my house. So now I have to put a disclaimer out. Please do not go to Home Depot and just grab like a thousand of these. That would just be wrong. I literally was looking for flooring. Some of these I've had so long because I haven't been able to make up my mind that they don't even carry them anymore. So it seems silly to throw them away when it would be really easy to make them over into something interesting. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I picked up these little stencils at the Dollar Tree and they're just cardboard, you know, they're not gonna last you forever, but hey, they're a buck, so, you know, I just, but these little pouncer brushes, I think I got these for, I don't know, like 99 cents at Target in their school supply crafting stuff. Um, and the trick with this is if you pour your paint out, by the way, always pour your paint into like a little tray or something else, because if you get any kind of dirt or debris, or like if this had been a painted surface and some of the other paint came off, you don't want it to like trash all your paint. And honestly, guys, I am just using just good old fashioned craft paint. I think and it's just apple barrel white. I have probably had this for two years because I just use it for th little small things like this. So what you want to do is make sure that your, when you dip your paint in, you want to do what's called offloading. And that's just, so you're dipping your paint in and then you kind of want to get a lot of the paint off of it. Okay. And then simply, you're just going to hold it down and then just go up and down. And if it looks like, oh my gosh, there's not enough paint on there. How am I going to get it in there? You just you'll go back and do a second coat. I kind of like the distressed look, so um, that's usually what I'm going for. And if you just go up and down, it won't creep underneath the pieces of your paper. And you just kind of pounce, 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 pounce. And you might get a little on your fingers, don't worry. If you're like that uptight, put a pair of gloves on. But this, this paint washes right off, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, now some people let their stencils dry um, before they remove them. I don't. I just take mine right off. And there you go. Easy peasy. It's a wreath. Now, like I said, I think I'm going to tie some jute cord on here. I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back and maybe throw on some more embellishments, but make some really cute crafts. I want to show you another one that I've done. And this one, I simply stamped the word joy with um, my permanent ink and my stamps. And then I stenciled these adorable little snowflakes. They can stand up in a tiered tray. You can add, you know, I'm thinking about maybe adding some little eye hooks and maybe doing a metal, like a rusty wire um, on, on a few of them. Maybe add a few jingle bells. Not really sure yet. Uh, how I'm gonna finish them off, but they're really easy to make anybody can do it You can get your kids around the table and you know invest a couple of bucks in some throwaway stencils and Some craft paint and literally you don't have to buy this big big guy You can go to Walmart and get craft paint in a little little bottle for like 98 cents your kids will have a blast I, I promise they'll love it. Oh, these really cute stickers at Dollar Tree and they're just like little wooden stickers so again, this is for, if you are craft challenged, 
Um, this is something that you can do. Get your girlfriends together. Have a big party. Do your cookie exchange and do like a little craft and have, you know, for a couple of bucks, everybody can go home with an ornament. Have an ornament party. So you could do something as simple as, now this has like a sticky back to it, but I'm not sure how sticky that would stay. So I would opt to glue this down, even though it is just, even though it is a sticker, but just take, this one's a Christmas tree. And I'm just gonna take, there's one. I think I'm gonna do two. Two little Christmas trees. The nice thing about them is you can readjust them if necessary. Okay, so here's how it looks with just the two trees. And I staggered them a little bit because I don't want them to look like they're just in a row. Okay, then get yourself some stickers. These are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. You get a whole slew of them here. And again, this is for the craft challenged person. Okay, so if you feel that you don't know how to craft and it's a little beyond your scope to be able to, or beyond your budget to maybe buy stamps and a stamp pad and, and things like that, you can still make what you have in your home beautiful with just a little know-how. So, okay, so we've got our little Christmas trees on here. And then let's just take the stickers and spell out, I'm gonna do tree farm. Make it perfect if you want to and measure everything. I don't care enough to, to measure. Um, I like imperfection. Well, maybe I don't like it, but I gave up striving for it. Perfection is just so overrated. And besides, these are handmade. They're not supposed to look like they came off of a factory floor, guys, okay? If you want that, you can just go ahead and order your own Christmas ornaments and not worry about it, right? And I want there to be an arrow, but I don't have an arrow sticker. So I'm gonna to attempt to make one with the letter I. <laughs> we'll do a couple of them, we'll overlap them a little bit. There you go, guys. Now, this is, if this were on top of a package that I got, I would be like thrilled. I would think it was really adorable. And it just shows somebody that you care. So this would be, honestly, like you could put this, you could either give it as a gift. And in another video, I'm gonna be showing um, how to take something small um, that's maybe handmade, that didn't cost you much, and how to present it, how to wrap it in such a way that it looks expensive. Um, so that's going to be coming up, uh, probably not till November, you can make. But this would be great as a gift itself for like a teacher or your, okay, let me be politically correct. I think it's postal worker. Mine is a man, so he's my postman, but whoever delivers your mail, mail carrier, little present for them, maybe the kid's school bus driver. Um, but something like this, even something like this, if you have an elderly neighbor, but make a big kettle, put a big kettle of soup on. And then, you know, you could drill a hole through this or put a little eye, a little eye hook and tie this around, you know, a, a nice size mason jar of soup and take that over to an elderly neighbor. They'll love you for it. They'll think you're fantastic. So anyway, so that is another way to use these adorable little wood samples. Now, as I was telling you before, this was a board that was from my deck. And I literally just gave it a coat of paint and then I used just block uh, letters and spelled out Be Merry and I left a space in the center. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. I was out today shopping I saw this adorable little deer head wreath and I thought, hmm, I wonder if that will fit. Now it's a Christmas ornament, but I thought, okay, well maybe if we just stick it right in the center here, that would be adorable because this one's gonna go, I think on my own porch for Christmas, unless one of my daughters-in-law says, hey, Margie, I need that in my life. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the back of this. 
And I'll probably try to get, you know, several spots where, because I don't want it to come off, you know. Now, not that I get a tremendous amount of wind or anything on my porch, but I don't want it coming off, guys. So, literally, and if you wanted to use a stronger bonding, let me see if this is straight. If you wanted to use something that had a little bit of a stronger bond, you could put some E6000, which is just, um, it's kind of like a super glue. And you could do that. Now it takes like 24 hours to completely dry for that. So you could put it on. And the trick to that is put it on with a little bit of um, your hot glue as well. And then... Um, then it'll it'll hold much much better. So guys, this is it. Look how cute that is. And this was essentially this was a dollar forty eight I think at Walmart. So leftover paint, leftover paint, leftover board, dollar twenty eight. And I have seen these at craft shows in my own area for forty dollars. So I just saved myself. Oh, I don't want to do the math, but you get the picture. I saved myself like 38 bucks. We'll, we'll round up. So I think it's pretty cute. It would look nice on my porch. And so I've got an entire stack of wood out there. So I'm going to be making a bunch of these, I think, and putting them over in my booth. So, and you could put anything you wanted on here. You could put, I mean, technically I could turn this around and put welcome on the other side so that it's, you know, double duty. I'm not going to. But um, you could put any type of lettering that you want. And then what I did, I, I should have told you this, is um, I just waxed it. Um, I went over it with a coat of wax. And that will keep it. It's not going to be out in my yard. It's not going to really get wet. Um, but you could polyurethane it if you wanted to. You could put like some kind of um, sealer like that on it. But so that's that. Now, for the mason jar craft. Literally, guys, this, I think, is probably one of my favorite things that I've done. Literally, get yourself a mason jar. You can get plain ones. You can get ones that have the wording on them. They can be old. They can be new. It doesn't matter. Get yourself a can of spray paint. Literally. That's it. Spray paint the bottle. Okay? I turn mine upside down to spray paint them. Give it a coat. Let it dry. Give it another coat. Let it dry. And then I come back with sandpaper, and I just sand back the edges just a little bit. So that you get a little bit of a textured look, okay? And then you're going to want to use whatever kind of florals you have. I had some of these Dollar Tree florals, which I'll be honest, I was not in love with these, okay? Um, that I literally got, they were in, uh, I think a bird cage that I bought um, that I have yet to do anything with. Um, but literally, you're just going to, once you paint it, I mean, you don't even have to cut the stuff down. Just stick it in, stick some of these in, and then put some ribbon on it and wait till you see how gorgeous it turned out. I made a couple of them and I think that I found this little wooden carrier, this little tote. Floral arrangement in the jar was literally just leftover stuff that I had. I didn't go out and purchase the jars or anything. I've got umpteen million um, mason jars. So it was literally, you know, less than, let's, let's say that a dollar, because I did have to, I did buy the floral. They're left over, but let's say a dollar. So when you see it, I think you're going to really like it. Okay. And then I told you guys about the jug and I picked this one up. Um, I don't, I don't remember if it was free or at the thrift store. But I get them all the time, and I always pick them up because they're, they're great to use for decor. And I'm going to show you what I've done with one of them. So I'm going to link in, I don't know, one of these spots is going to come up on your screen. And it's one that I literally, all I did was spray paint it black, guys. I just spray painted it, added a ribbon and a stamp with my white iron worker design ink and that was it and it was so so easy to do wasn't hard at all
guys, four pretty easy projects. Is that four? One, two, three, four. Four different types of projects of using things that we either already have or that are easily found for people who aren't really that crafty. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial video. I'm still getting my feet wet here on YouTube, so um, I'd love your feedback. For, to know what you guys liked out of the video, which things was your favorite. Um, so if you could comment, put that in the comment section, I would really appreciate it. And of course, do all the social media stuff, you know, like me, thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. And of course, you can find me over on Instagram and you can find me on Facebook Marketplace where I flip a lot of um, vintage furniture and I have a booth outside of Pittsburgh in an antique shop. So that's just a little bit about me. So without further ado, I'm just gonna say toodaloo.